Friday Football Fever, sponsored by GTCC and Shift Ed. Welcome into Friday Football Fever, round two of the high school football playoffs. Every team hoping to move on to the next round tonight, but only half of them will succeed. And we get things started in the 2A division as Cinderella Southeast Alamance looks for revenge against Cummings. Now these two teams met up just two weeks ago with Cummings winning it by 33 points. And here come the Cavaliers early in the first quarter as the sophomore Jaden Brisky takes the handoff, hits the hole and rumbles his way to the end zone, 55 yards, plus the score of seven at the Cummins. But the Stallions would respond, and it's the freshman Daniel Bunker scoring his first of two tuds on the night. Now the Stallions did a good job containing the Cavaliers NC State commit Jonathan Paler, but it's only so much you can do as Paler finds the seam, hits the hashes, and flashes that big time speed as he gives Cummings the lead once again. The one thing about Southeast, they just won't quit as Bunker gets loose once again, this time for 35 yards out. Tying the game up at 14. Now to the fourth. Southeast knocking on the door, looking to ice this one. And it's the quarterback, Ryan Dobson, hammering his way in to give Southeast the seven-point lead with just a minute to go. And the Cinderella from Southeast, Alamance, they dance their way into round three with a 21-14 win. We had one matchup tonight featuring a pair of triad schools as Dudley played host to Central Davidson. Early on, Andrew Atmore the second looking for an open man, trying to find one, searching for one, finding Cordell Bartley, getting around defenders, picking up as many yards as possible. Eventually setting up this, LJ Southern taking the handoff right into the end zone, he goes. Dudley just making it look really easy out here shortly after the Panthers blocking a punt, putting them in good field position. Jerome Black, well, Taking the direct snap to the outside, he goes across the goal line to six more for the Panthers. Dudley wins it 48-6. And our team made a pair of stops tonight in Randolph County. First up, it's Eastern Randolph and Hayesville. And we start with Carter Ravel rolling out, looking, searching, finding his guy, Nika Ooh, Taylor, for the is. touchdown, stretching Eastern Randolph's lead to 13 points. And that Wildcat defense was on point early and often as it's Johnny Norwood dominating the Yellow Jacket off the line. Stuff in the back for the tackle for loss. Eastern back on offense, and it's Ravel finding Taylor Woo. once again wide open. You can't leave this guy. I don't understand it. Touchdown, Taylor, this time for 29 yards out. It's the Wildcats win it 39 to 10. All right, let's over, head over to Randallland as the Tigers kicked off second round play against Forest Hills. Early on, no score, Randleman's defense stepping up as Andrew Duncan leads the charge for the tackle for a loss. But Forest Hills, they're not giving up. A little later, QB Brady Hibbard gets out of the pocket and finds Darrell Balder for the touchdown. Yellow Jackets on the board first, 7-0. Later, Randleman's Gregory Price sheds his blocker and gets the big stop for Randleman. The Tigers defense continues to make plays early on in this one, but it's just not enough. Forest Hills pulls away and wins it 35-14. Oak Grove looked to advance to the third round with a win at home over Pisgah. First quarter and Oak Grove has the ball. Connor Creech goes back searching for someone, anyone, throws it to Sam Bennett who gets it inside the 10-yard line. And now it's fourth down in the field goal attempt is good, making it 3-0 Oak Grove. Piskin's ball now inside the 30, and Aaron Clark passes it deep and ends up connecting it to Caden Davis for the Pisca touchdown. Pisca leads it 6-3. Now Oak Grove's ball, and Connor Creech hands off to Carson Williams, who basically zigzags and makes it in for the touchdown. Oak Grove wins it over Pisca, 23-16. Grimsley put its unbeaten record on the line with a matchup in Jamison Stadium against Sun Valley. Early on, the Whirlies punch first, but the Spartans respond to tie it up. But then Faison Brandon airs it out. Terrell Anderson bringing down the catch for the Tut TD. Whirlies back on top. Brandon handing it off to Mitchell Summers, a big star in this game. And here's why. Summers. Finishing off the drive, bringing in six Whirlies up two scores now. Jumping ahead early second quarter. Summers on the carry, shoving his way into the Ooh. end zone. Yeah, literally Ooh. shoving his way. Three touchdowns by him so far, and we're only in the second quarter. <laughs> Grimsley wins it 56-24. And Southern Alamance was at home in 3A West second round play as they hosted Jacksonville, and the Patriots struck first as Jackson Parrish dives his way into the end zone for the touchdown. 
and on the other side of the ball we go. The Patriots D, they come up clutch here as Wesley Smith and Chris Ray, they lead the charge to stop Amari Barber on fourth and goal. Forced to a turnover on downs and a couple plays later, it's Logan Faust fighting through contact, breaking this one 61 yards to the house for the score, 16 nothing. Patriots, but the Cardinals, they would mount a mean comeback Forcing OT, however, Southern, they pull it out, advancing to round three, 25 to 19. Mount Airy has been dominant on both sides of the ball this season and took an 11 and 0 record into tonight's game against Mitchell. This one was all Granite Bears. They score early and often and scoring five touchdowns on the ground and advance with the 42 nothing win over Mitchell. Mount Airy is now 12 and 0 on the season. Out in Winston, head coach ties Sean Brown and Mount Airy excuse me, Mount Tabor, they hit the road to continue for a West play as the Spartans are headed back to the triad with a huge 19 to 14 upset over the third seed, Morrisville. And another triad school gets a big victory on the road. It was a battle of the Bulldogs tonight. Thomasville gets out to the early lead and pulls away to beat Albemarle 41 to 13. All right, now to our Friday football fever. Shift dead play of the week. Reesville quarterback Al Lee drops back and airs it out Wide receiver Cameron Jones makes an incredible catch, landing on his back. Check out the replay of this one as Jones lays out and completes the grab for the first down for the Rams. And that's our Friday Football Fever Shift Ed Play of the Week. Boy, some good games tonight, guys. Yeah, mm. and good weather, so thanks, Tim. <laughs> Better weather would be nice. Hey, you know, most of the weather this year has been pretty good. It has yes, been. Y'all haven't gotten soaked up like one time. Nope. Definitely. We only got it. Teams left in wow. round three. Mm -hmm. Three minutes close. Cutting it close. Right. Have a good weekend. Yeah. Friday Football Fever, sponsored by GTCC and Shift Ed.